Hi, what's up everybody? This is Lama Delis and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to update my previous video about circle skirts. I hear you and I will correct some of the mistakes I've done on that video. Plus, an additional circle skirt that was not included on the last video. So get your materials ready and let's start drafting circle skirts. First is the one fourth or quarter circle skirt. For the quarter circle skirt, get your full waist measurement or circumference and multiply this measurement by 4. And divide this new measurement by 6.28 to get your waist radius. Disclaimer, the measurements here are from my dress form, so please use your own. By the way, here's a quick tip to draft the circle skirts easily. Get a cardboard paper. From the edge of the cardboard paper, mark in 4 eighths of an inch. And from this mark, mark in your waist radius. And mark out another 4 eighths of an inch. And cut out the excess. Locate the half and draw a line. Get your awl tool and pierce through from end to end. This template will help you draft your waist radius quickly and accurately. And I will use this template to draft my one fourth circle skirt. To start off, draw a right angle on your pattern paper. Match the template with the angle using an awl tool. On the other end, use the pencil to draw a curved cone shape for your waist radius. Next, from the waist radius, mark out your desired skirt length. And mark out your desired sewing allowance on both sides or the seams. And at the waist radius. And this is the one fourth circle skirt. And the center front is located at the center of the skirt. By the way, both seams are the center back. To cut the one fourth circle skirt, locate the bias of your fabric. Place the pattern on bias, hitting the selvage and the raw edge. And cut out in place. And this is how you cut a one fourth circle skirt. Now let's move on to the half circle skirt. For the half circle skirt, get your full waist measurement or circumference and multiply this measurement by 2. Next, divide this new measurement by 6.28 to get your waist radius. 
Before drafting, I prepared a template to draft the waist radius for the half circle skirt. On your pattern paper, draw a right angle line. Match the template directly onto the angle using an awl tool. On the other end, use the pencil to draw a curved cone shape for your waist radius. Next, from the waist radius, mark out your desired skirt length. Don't forget to label the center front as unfold and add your desired sewing allowance for the center back and waist radius. And cut out the pattern. To cut this skirt, get approximately one and a half or two yards of fabric and fold once. After folding, locate the bias of the fabric and place the pattern on the fold of the fabric. And cut in place. And that is how you cut the half circle skirt. Now let's move on to the three quarters circle skirt. For the three quarters circle skirt, get your full waist measurement or circumference and multiply this measurement by 1.3 and divide this new measurement by 6.28 to get your waist radius. So before drafting, I've already prepared my template for the three quarters circle skirt. Next, on your pattern paper, draw a right angle line. Simply match the template on the angle using an awl. And use a pencil on the other end and draw the waist radius. Next, from the radius, mark out your desired skirt length. and cut out the pattern. Next, get two pieces of pattern paper and place the original pattern on top and trace. Making three sets of patterns. From the angle of the original pattern, locate the half and draw a line. And tape both new patterns on the sides, like this one. This is how to check the pattern for the three-quarter circle skirt. The three-quarter circle skirt should have a shape like the capital letter C. Check this pattern first on your dress form. If the pattern is okay, cut through the center line and label it on fold. So same with the half circle skirt, fold the fabric once, locate the bias, and 
place the pattern on the fold. And cut in place. And that is how you cut a three-quarter circle skirt. And lastly, let's move on to the full circle skirt. For the full circle skirt, get your full waist measurement or circumference. And divide this measurement by 6.28 to get your waist radius. So before pattern drafting, I've already prepared a template for the full circle skirt for the waist radius. Same with other circle skirts, draw an angle line on your paper. Match the template with the angle using an awl and draw the waist radius. Next, mark out your desired skirt length. And don't forget to label center front as unfold and put sewing allowance for the center back and also for the waist radius. And cut it out. For the full circle skirt, we must cut this pattern times 4 on our fabric. To cut this skirt, get approximately 2-3 to three yards of fabric and fold it twice. Place the pattern directly onto the folds of the fabric. and cut in place. And that is how you cut a full circle skirt. But we're not done yet. Next, cut through one of the folds. And decrease the sewing allowance on both sides at center back. Anyway guys, comment down below if you have any questions and I'll make it sure to answer as quickly as possible. I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to create patterns for circle skirts and how to cut the skirts and don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel La Modelise and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!